Hey, hello, friend, and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. Let's uh, continue. I actually want to buy this 8th Flieger Corps. And what I want to do is I also want to get all the Panzer Group and to get more movement. Alright, uh, let's get started then. With the next mission, Yetko Soda. It's the only one we have here. We also have um, Odessa, but that's a bit later. 6th of August, yeah. All right. July 31st, 1941. In 1939, the Winter War saw Finland locked in a struggle for survival after being invaded by the Soviet Union. The Finns managed to make the Soviets pay so dearly for each meter of ground that a negotiated settlement was reached. But the terms were harsh, and almost a fifth of Finland's population had to leave their homes in Karelia. Eyeing an opportunity to regain its lost territories, the Finns now joined the German assault on the Soviet Union. Oh, that, that looks amazing. <laughs> With Barbaras off to a flying start, the Finns are finally ready to fully commit to offensive operations. The Army of Karelia has already begun its advance, lead these forces as far as the Sphere River. This natural barrier will offer an excellent defensive position, although some Finnish troops may need encouragement to move beyond their old borders. On the Karelian Isthmus, two Army Corps are making their final preparations. Deploy the Fourth Corps as soon as it arrives and use the steps in its HQ force pool. Once ready, punch your way towards the old Finnish border north of Leningrad. But no further. Um. Actually, if Finnish reserves that which you could buy, uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, let's actually pay for a bit. The fact that This no. Um. No, I I need to try and get those guys in supply too. Anyway, we have Karelian Isthmus turn 8, Vipuri turn 9, Sphere River turn 10, Podporosia turn 11, Podporosia, I think it's that's slightly better, Medvezirgorsk turn 14, Sortavala turn 4, and Petrozvodsk on turn 14 as well. Alright, um... Sweet. Uh, it does give me the road at least though, so... Uh, that's... At least something. Let's get the German artillery in there. I'd rather clear these uh, guys out. Uh, you're you're not. Uh, all right. Um. I, I guess if I move you here first, I can 
resupply. We need to try and get this Corellian Isthmus thing as far as possible quickly. I think moving it forward one hex just is not gonna cut it. And right, let's go. I might be able to go down there and then actually supply them through that way. Um, yeah. Let's get this to three because it means all of these could potentially be in supply. cut them off here it means that they yeah they cannot flee further down at least if that much was their goal might not have been but Let's see. Interesting movement. Eighty percent retreat, thirty percent overrun. Well, I, if I just attack, I'll probably. Hmm. to say that I'm not impressed. I'm probably best off just attacking with these guys again on the next turn and uh, moving forward for now. But I will take all of those. Now I'm in a position where I, I can cut this off from both sides while I also move further down. Um, one, one. Well, they're out of, okay. Huh. I have supply. Let's send these guys further down as well. Um, let's let's create a, a security unit. Bam. It's very likely those guys will n not move at this stage. But. Um, I have. 
have to say... I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure what to make of all this. I might not need to attack here. I would lose my recon step. Um, which is probably going to be very important. If I attack though and I can destroy them. How much will it ultimately help me? Hard to say. I'll just just leave them there. Use this pin attack to start weakening them. It also means I cannot move forward with these guys because otherwise these guys could just go here and, and take that railroad. Um, I, I do have a railroad coming from up there. Maybe it's not so important then. But I can only move up till here. Uh, so how much worth is it really to do that this turn? Yeah, I'll wait one more turn before I'll do that. It's just a take by four. Yeah, no matter. I need to... I need to move. And... I uh, can really only do it this way, I think. Alright. Um, this is a really a, a battle of, uh, of maneuver. And it's just... Uh, Yeah, hard to, to put, put my finger on it. At any rate, this is a uh, pretty big threat as well. quite something. Luckily I, I do have those three uh, uh, steps back now. Okay, so I can repair you or fix you guys up. I should be having the railroad through there now. Yes I do. It revealed Two enemy units, an armored unit, and nothing else. The uh, I'm actually quite sure that they're going to destroy this rail bridge, um, but the uh, faster I can get close to it, either repair it or build pontoon bridge or something along those lines, I just need to cut this off basically. Let's start with two. I 
Okay, I thought that uh, maybe there would have still been room for moving. Now, over here. Um, something else very tricky If they want to take this, they can be my guest. I don't, I don't really care about that. What I do care about is cutting them off. And that I did. So that should already help a bit. They might try to go back though. But... Um, uh, yeah, I cannot cut that off so far currently without taking down Vipoli. And I need to wait until these guys are cut off for three turns. Uh, whatever. Um, uh, is That kind of sucks, but... Okay, let's do that. Okay, so under current conditions, how does it look? Pretty good. Can get supplies back and... Uh, this way, I'm also threatening them. I can totally see them trying to cut me there, though. We'll see. So, at the very least, I need to clear these. That, that shouldn't be that big of a problem. They can stay there. Uh, now, I have to real secure as well all right they're a little too late um, now because these guys would just never come back oh 
Well, I don't... <laughs> Just wanted to say I don't mind attacking like that, but... Uh... Okay, this threatens them at least uh, with some decent damage. Not sure. Okay, they must have just gotten extremely unlucky. Mm. The first thing here that I need to get is the Sphere River Hex. Um, but I also need to eventually or I also need to cut them off. I cannot do that through this way. So I'll be battling my way through these guys first. At least, uh, well, I, I don't know what they have there, but we'll have to see. Either way, um, that starts here. Out of range. Oh, you're part of the fourth. Huh, all of them are part of the fourth. Hmm. Like a, a two on one attack is not what I'm looking for here. I don't mind these one one attacks because I know I'll be able to reinforce these guys and Despite losses, not generally being the, the greatest thing in the world to, to do, these guys will no longer be able to attack and it does not seem like they're going to be able to, to reinforce. This cuts off whatever forces they had there. My problem here is that I'm actually more afraid of what uh, might happen out there than anywhere else. Um, right. Uh, I just have to see. I mean, this is just very tricky. I know all of these are cut off, and things will hopefully get better soon. But uh, um, how far can you go up till here? Then let's move you in here. and boost these guys up by three. No need to use my f attack steps yet. That will not work, but uh, I can cut them off from turn five. Need to take this turn 11. So I do still have quite a few turns left. 
How much do you have? Two. Okay, well. Let's move back, so hopefully they will at least have them in supply. And same for you. Okay. Okay, this is rather what I wanted. Hmm. The fact that they got cut off there certainly wasn't. Um, I'm also not particularly happy with that mod. Possibly help me here. Well, for starters, making sure that we're getting those supplies there. Oh, come on, man, really? Uh, very unfortunate. Um, that might just be the boost that I need to make sure that whatever force is gonna get on there will not be able to to make it. Um, But uh, we'll have to see. I'll try to get around this. Um, it's also not particularly important for me to do that now because they are now cut off so that that's not really that big of a worry I'll take it within the next few turns um, besides that I can already repair this if needs be 
or get up on Tomb Bridge, so I'll just have to keep that there. For the moment, and... Well, it's... It doesn't help these guys, so if I... There's nowhere I can move that will actually help them, no way, okay. That doesn't do anything. These guys are cut off. So that does help. Need to get that to three. And then hopefully next turn with something like a Flieger core, I might be able to take that. Uh, So, let's make sure we get all of those hexes. Not falling for that again. Oh, and two is pretty neat. I might actually be able to get it without using any additional steps because I do still have two turns and they are getting weaker. So that would be ideal. Like I said, Vipri is turn 9, so for them to be cut off, uh, it's already looking good. That's fine. And like I said, this might actually give me the strength that I need to get whichever unit. Um... Let's build that pontoon bridge in a bit, but uh, I'll do one suppression first. Now, another interesting question is, do I really need to go? Repair the bridge already. The fact that I have mud there again is uh, mighty convenient. Hmm. One other thing I could do is switch up these with these. So where do we get supplies? Way further back.
I should probably focus uh, first on getting the supplies running before I, I move up as well. So obviously I cannot move in there specifically. So let's just just wait. Still be out of supply for two turns. Let's move you back a bit because they've cut that off. Then you'll be able to resupply these and then attack again and then we'll see with, with what the, they'll probably destroy this but then I can at least create a pontoon bridge and go after that. If worst comes to worst I might use a Fleer core on that but I do hope it will not come to that. Um, okay, so with, with that done, um, how much worse is it if I start cutting this? Probably not so much. What I need to do then is make sure that you go in here. I need to improve this at some point. I can't just do nothing. With that, um, now that I'm having this rail, I can also start moving these further because they can't cut both this and this. So. No, I'd rather have you here. Put those two steps in here. And they'll be out of supply for two turns. So what I need to do is, what I hope at least, is to get those logistics back. Need to... No, I, I can't even go there. I need to move here because otherwise they'll move in here and destroy that bridge. Although, I will also create a pontoon bridge, just in case. What if I use this? You know what, L let's use the Opal Blitz. So, That way, hopefully, I'll be able to make sure. Yeah, I know it's unfortunate to be using that right now. But I do sincerely hope that will uh, get me what I need then. I do dare say that this weather is exceptionally against me out here, mm, but I'm gonna attack anyway. Moving down and 
make sure that uh, we'll get there on the next turn. I also don't want to miss out on Vipery, so let's tank there as well. All right, all my units are back in supply, good, except for you, but we already knew that. And that is the Sphere River Hex. We have this turn 11. So now that we did that, I unfortunately cannot create the pontoon bridge again yet. But let's just repair this one for now. We'll create the pontoon bridges for the next turn. Get these guys go in. Of course, now I, I cannot cross. Um, Put this there, these two can go after them. And let's move you also further down. So at turn eight, I'll build the pontoon bridges. Or at least one of them. Mm. I got one of them <laughs> under control. Uh. They're not able to move far. Yeah, let's leave you. There's no reason to move those guys. There is a reason to move you, though. Before you're out of supply again. That means they might try to reconnect, but then I'll, I'll just cut them off. Actually, very likely to try and do it. Yeah, but th that doesn't matter. Wow. also encircled another unit now so that's also worth something I should think sweet Let's 
get rid of that. Leave you there. We're taking those prisoners. You're really taking huge casualties on this map. In order to get everything you need, but... Uh, Oh, they're cornered. Right, I'll cut them off as soon as possible. That's certainly not helping for now. Okay, so where I need to place this, well, can you guys get in there? No, you can't. So I can't abandon this Sphere River Hex currently. But where do you get the juice supplies from? Just on Thetis. Okay, so. Technically, what I can do then is. No, I, I need uh, the, the stupid thing is I actually need one. It's hard for me to see. I should hex this. Okay. Let's. Start with the pontoon bridge so I can move down, destroy this, and then cut them off. Okay, this only takes logistics. Actually, there's no reason still to move them. to move there is a reason to move them though but no reason to attack there I don't need unnecessary losses let's start down here in the isthmus <laughs> seem to get a lot of rolls on Ford and are not doing great these guys should be cut off though Really not sure whether it um, it does matter for your score.
Uh, yeah, so for them, they have no supplies anymore. So, turn 11 should be reasonable, but uh, I do think these guys need to be beaten as well. Now, though, it is time to build another pontoon bridge so they can also cross afterwards. They didn't destroy this bridge, at least, either. So they can also move without too much trouble. How is it even possible you cannot cut them off still? At any rate, I don't think I need these anymore. I'll move up. I need to supply them anyway. So for now, I can at the very least build that. Um, okay, so out here. The only thing No, there's there's nothing that needs doing there. Um this is taken care of. Yeah. I have to admit that that's pretty good, but it's it's not good enough. Cuz now they are cut off. So I will take Metsvigorsk on the next turn. Actually, start attacking because I mean they they need to die. So I uh, they be our supply for two turns. Next turn, yeah, I should be able to do that. All right. Uh, the uh, time limit is what is most pressing there. Uh, that, that's really the, the thing to watch out for anyway they will be cut off soon enough that's that taken care of that will be this still let's let's move a bit close a little bit closer so that I could technically also resupply them there and these guys are not going anywhere now Oh, you see. Or they are. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Although, ultimately, uh, it, uh, it shouldn't cut it.
Okay, so I do have all the objectives, at least. Um, I do have to say that... That's that. Um... Let's uh, wrap this one up for the last few points and surrenders. need to find a position where I can actually get all of them in supply. Only these guys aren't, but if they get their supplies back, yeah, they probably won't be able to do anything, but yeah, this should be fine. Okay, so that's that, that's that, taking care of these, they'll be out of supply for three turns, so it shouldn't be a problem. They'll be trapped. dead. And they're on the rails, so that uh, really shouldn't give me any issues now. Alright. I won't really be able to do anything else, so I'll just uh, skip it at this. And finish the mission! Whew. That was uh, quite something, but we got it. And we also got the extra bonus. Mm, took quite a lot of losses, obviously, but they didn't matter because, uh, well, these units are here for only one mission anyway. Still, that went uh, quite well, so nice. Next up, uh, we will have Odessa. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you next time, and bye-bye.